Hey guys, it's Lisa from To Create a Website. Here today to do a little Photoshop tutorial that will teach you how to create a basic header. I've been getting quite a few requests for this, so I decided to start doing some very beginner friendly Photoshop tutorials. And I will say that I am not a Photoshop guru, so there are going to be some professionals probably watching and surfing up on this video saying oh my goodness what is she doing there are so many better ways of doing that so if you see something that I'm doing that could be done in a better way please feel free to comment this video was really for beginners who are not too familiar with Photoshop at all so what we're gonna do is create a simple header and we're gonna start off by opening a new palette and you're gonna go from to file new or you can do control N which is the shortcut and the width and height is going to be 800 by 100. We'll keep it at that. If you want to change it, obviously you can just adjust these values. And you say OK. And it gives you this blank palette. And for the background of the header, we're going to use a gradient. And a gradient is simply just a color swatch that goes from one color to the next very gradually. Hence the name gradient, right? So you're going to double click your layer here. We've got one layer, and Photoshop is all about the layers. So you double click and say OK to unlock it. Notice there was a little lock there. So we're going to unlock that layer and we're going to right click it and say blending options and select gradient. And as you can see, it, the default is to go from white to black. Well, we want to change that because we don't want that color. So we're going to highlight the gradient overlay and we're going to click this swatch here to edit the gradient and there are some presets that come up automatically so the first preset actually is a gradient that goes from your background color to your foreground color so if you wanted this to be white to green to purple instead of white to green you would change this color swatch before you selected the gradient so it's doing this green color because that's the colors that I have here it's going from white to green so if you wanted to change that you can use some of the presets this red to green purple to orange, you've got blue to red to yellow. For the sake of this video we're going to use this sunshiny orange yellow color. It will wake you up. <laughs> so you say OK and if you want to change the opacity of the, the gradient you can adjust the slider and notice how it gets lighter, 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 lighter until you can't see it anymore. So for this video we're going to keep it at about 78 or so. So you say OK and now we've got a nice little backdrop for our header. Now, let's add some text to our header. You go over here and, cl and click the text tool. And you have the option actually of doing a horizontal or vertical. We're going to do the horizontal. And you just click and drag here. And I'm going to type, this is my header. And if you want to change the color of this, you select it. Click your color swatch up here. And it brings up your color picker and also let's say you want another color let's say you want to use the color that's in your um, foreground you can just click and it'll automatically make it that color and then you can use the color picker, picker tool to just slide around and notice the color will change and so if you want let's go back to the other color we had you can click that and it brings that color back and notice guys for your HTML page if you want to remember what color that is and want to use that same color for your links you can see that the hex color is down here so this is the actual hex color that you would use in your style sheet or your HTML page so let's stick with the color we have I think that looks pretty good with this header and let's say you wanted it to match the um, color that is in your in your header you can use the eyedropper tool to click and notice it gave it that orange color and if you want to just make it maybe just a little bit darker than that color you would just come over here and maybe go down a little bit and see how you darken it that's how you get it in that same color family but you just want it to be a little darker so we're gonna go with that color and say okay and hit the checkbox because you're done here and if you want to move this a little bit because it's a little high you go over here to your move tool and you just uh, move it around just like that very easy. So let's give this text a little bit of jazz. We're going to go over here to your layer palette and notice now I have another layer. First we had just the gradient layer, now we have the text layer. So you have to make sure that this is selected and you're going to right click and go to blending options. And here you can see there are a ton of different options for this text. You can do a drop shadow, 
see how it automatically gave it a drop shadow I'm a big fan of this this uh, feature in Photoshop I like doing drop shadows um, you can change the opacity of the drop shadow by making it very strong or making it very weak let's put it back over up into the 70s you can change the distance of the shadow see how it goes all the way over there we'll keep it at about seven you can change the spread I don't like a big spread we'll keep it pretty small and you can change the size so we'll keep it about right there you want to give it an inner glow another one of my favorites you can again adjust the opacity see how it's giving a, a nice little glow around the outside or the inside of the uh, text and you can play around with the different options the choke the size you can do all sorts of things guys with Photoshop really really cool you want to add a, a bevel look I'm not a fan of the bevel look in this case but you could do that if you want and play with the options if you want to just do a satin look you can do that and adjust the options if you want to add a stroke to the text you can do that as well and then you can change the color of the stroke by clicking stroke and then coming here to adjust the color see I can change it so we're gonna cancel I don't want a stroke I'm gonna uncheck that so that's that so let's just go with this for now and let's say you want to add just a little image or just something fun to your header I love the custom shape tool that photo Photoshop has so you can click that and notice you go up here and you can see a ton of different shapes and you've got dog bones cats rabbits boxes sun stars handprints triangles a ton of different shapes well in this video we're gonna use the bird which is already selected and to draw the bird onto your header you simply bring your mouse here and you're gonna click and drag and just like that you can draw the bird now the bird as you notice it already has a drop shadow because it applied the same settings that I had to this text so you can come over here and right click this layer and go to blending options and if you wanted to remove the drop shadow you could just uncheck it and the drop shadow will go away. I actually actually kinda like it so I'm gonna keep it. Um, there's a stroke here. If you wanna change the stroke or increase the stroke you can play with that. If you wanna give it a thick stroke you can slide that here. I don't actually like the green color of the bird. I wanna change that color. So what you can do, you can either do a color overlay. There are many ways to do it but we're gonna use the color overlay for now just so you can see and let's say you want the bird to be the color of your text you just go click click anywhere on your text to get that same color say okay now let's say you want to make it just a little darker so it kinda of stands out a little bit you can just drag this down drag it down and voila there's your bird so as you can see guys there are a ton of different things that you can do with Photoshop when it comes to a header this is just one of many things it's a very simple basic header and when you play with those blending options you can do a ton of different things I'm gonna put up some links right now to some Photoshop sites that I visit quite frequently that teach me how to do a variety of different things so definitely check those out so hopefully you've learned a lot um, again this is strictly for beginners if you're a Photoshop you know, if you're an advanced user you're probably like okay Lisa I already knew how to do that but this is not for you it's for the beginners so stay tuned guys I'm gonna be doing some more Photoshop tutorials for you so take care bye bye